Charlotte? Charlotte, are you out here? Is the absolute worst way to end a story. Do you know how many Halloween stories end like that? Basically all of them. Well, if you know it all that well, tell one yourself. Oh, and while you're at it, let's make it as scary as possible. No, come on, no scary stories. Guys, some of us maybe want to be able to sleep tonight. Yeah, what Tori said. I get that it's Halloween and stuff, but does it really mean that- Um, yeah, it's Halloween. Of course we have to tell scary stories. Yeah, why do you think we're even here in the woods? This is like the scariest place there is. Well, not the scariest. <sighs> Come on guys, none of these stories are even real. Oh, but this one is real, right? And it happened right here. In these woods. And the same house we are staying in tonight. Why aren't we even staying there anyway? We should just be at home, safe. Because it's Halloween. And Charlotte and I have found the perfect place to stay. And it comes with a horrifying story. <sighs> it was exactly 10 years ago. In the house lived a girl of our age and her little sister. They were gonna play hide and seek. But first, the sister had to get water from the well. <sighs> Do I even need to ask? Why would she need to get it out of the well? Their house was in the middle of these woods, and they were out of water. Are you sure this thing happened 10 years ago? Because it sounds like a hundred. Oh my dog, would you just stop? You're ruining the story. The girl told the little sister to get ready to count. Then she went off to the well. But what they didn't know was that they weren't the only ones there. While the girl was walking to the well, she felt like she was being followed. But when she turned around, there was no one there. But if she listened really closely, she could hear his footsteps. She walked across the bridge over the river, but then she stopped. While on the bridge, she knew someone was following her. Is someone there? She yelled. Hello? But there came no answer. She decided to continue walking and get back as fast as she could. She was in front of the well when it happened. When what happened? She was right in front of the well when she could hear his breath. She tried to turn around, but it was too late. The man pushed her into the well and she fell and fell and fell. It seemed like it was never going to end, like she would fall forever. But then she fell into the water and it was freezing. The water was so cold that she couldn't move, she couldn't swim, she couldn't try to keep herself from drowning. As she took her last breath, she remembered her sister would still be waiting for her. Then, the well became quiet. And back in their house, the little sister was still waiting, counting with her paws covering her eyes waiting till she would hear the door slam until she would know that her older sister had returned waiting patiently until she heard footsteps in happiness she stood up but she didn't move realizing the front door hadn't been opened the little girl realized that someone was in their house but it wasn't her sister she feared her older sister would still be out in the cold her older sister was colder than ever before. She didn't know what to do. So she hid. And she hid for exactly one hour. She had been scared to come out of her hiding place. But after an hour, she decided to look if it was safe. Please tell me she was safe. Shh. She stood up and opened her eyes. Expecting to see nothing but her empty room. 
She was sure that whoever was in their house had gone away. She opened her eyes, and she was wrong. <gasps> oh no. The end. What do you mean, the end? What about the girl and her sister? Did they... Yup, they died. <laughs> Don't say it like that. <laughs> oh, come on, it's just a story. Rosie is right. What? It's not just a story. It actually happened. The older sister was found in the well. Though there are many stories about how the little sister was found. So up to this day, no one knows exactly what happened to the little sister. But some believe that her spirit is still in that same house playing hide and seek. And guess what? What? That is the very house we are sleeping in tonight. What? No way! You've got to be kidding me. I told you not to tell that story. And I told you not to go here. You know, none of us are going to be able to sleep in that house tonight. Oh, come on, guys. It's Halloween. Bring on the scares, am I right? I don't like scares. And I don't like that story either. I swear, if I see ghosts tonight, I'll tell them they can have you for dinner, okay? <laughs> sure, whatever. It would be totally worth it. Hey, um, guys. Don't you dare say something scary. Like there's something behind my back because I am not falling for that. Unless it's one of those cliches where she says something's behind your back and you don't believe her and something's actually behind your back. And then you die. Now I'm actually scared. <sighs> guys, nothing's behind anyone's back. What I meant to say was, it's getting dark out here. And even though it's scary, we better head to that house. Who knows what walks around these woods at night? There could be bears and wolves here. I totally don't want to go to that house right now, but you're right. Looks like we kind of have to. What if there's werewolves here too? <laughs> werewolves don't exist. Yes, I do. <laughs> you're kidding, right? No, they don't. Yes, they very much do. And Rosie's right. We don't want to meet them. Well, Rosie's a husky, so if anyone has a chance against a werewolf, it's her. Um, I don't think I could fight off a were werewolf. <coughs> Guys, let's go. Good idea. <laughs> Guys, wait for me. Tori, I thought we were close to the house. We've been walking for half an hour. And where did all this mist come from? Guys, we're in a forest. Sometimes there's just mist. I know we're close to the house. We just gotta continue walking. <sighs> Fine. Best Halloween ever. I can hardly see anything through the mist. Just stay close, okay? Guys? Where's Charlotte? First she tells us a creepy story, then she leaves us behind in the forest? Just calm down. It'll be alright. She knows this forest and she's gonna get out just fine. And there's three of us, so we should get out just fine as well. Let's just go before the mist gets worse. Yeah, come on. Funny. This reminds me of the story I told. Maybe this is the same bridge? The same bridge you stood on. I think I can even hear the well dripping. And bees buzzing. And... But... nobody here. This mist is becoming unbearable. I should try to get to the house as fast as possible. Stupid. 
pushes. Finally! Well, here we are. For a moment there, I thought we were lost. But there was always the path we could follow. And that's what we did. And here we are, safe and sound. Oh man, I cannot wait to get in that house. This is gonna be the best Halloween ever. Um, guys, where's Charlotte? She's not here yet? Guys, the door is still locked. <sighs> that means she's still out there. You should get inside the house. I'm gonna go find her. But you don't know the forest. You could get lost. You're right, you should go. Me? Yeah, Charlotte has taken you here before, right? The forest, I mean. You and Charlotte are the only ones who know the forest. Right? Well, yeah, but... Then you should go find Charlotte. It's the safest way. We'll be here waiting for you. No, I, I, I don't want to get out there. Fine, I'll go. No, Megan, come on, you can't let her go find Charlotte for you. You were the one who wanted to go in in the first place. So this is your responsibility. Because I would kill you if Tori would get lost. Oh, fine, gee, I didn't know you were that scared. <sighs> Whatever, fine, I'll go. Thank you. See you later, guys. I'll be back soon. <sighs> I didn't know you had it in you. Well, this is all their fault. I would rather get eaten by monsters than spend a Halloween with those two. So you're staying with me, alright? Alright. <sighs> Thanks, Tori. Now let's go inside. Gladly. Hello? Who's there? Well, we're here. <sighs> Next Halloween, I decide where to go. Fine with me. What do we do now? I guess we wait till Megan finds Charlotte. <sighs> well, at least it's safe in here. Better here than out there in the woods. With bears and werewolves. <sighs> at least we're safe here. Let's just hope Megan and Charlotte will be safe too. So many chance, would it? No! I'm hearing footsteps! Someone is coming! You're right. Let's go upstairs. 
What is this thing? I don't know. It sounds like a child. What if it's a ghost? Rosie, ghosts don't exist. Just think of a logical explanation. What if it's just a child in a Halloween outfit? But we are the only ones who have the key to this house for tonight. You're right. This isn't something normal. This is a ghost or something. What if it's the ghost of the child that was murdered in the story? What do you mean? You know, the little sister from the story Charlotte told. Was brutally murdered just like her older sister? What if she still haunts this house? Listen, Rosie, that's ridiculous. I just... Things like that just don't exist. You know it's true. <sighs> okay, you're right. But whatever it is, just don't be scared. If they would exist, I believe that they can't hurt you. Sure, they can scare you, but they can't actually hurt you or kill you. So just stay calm, okay? We're gonna figure this out. She's coming! Well, she's playing hide and seek, right? I think Charlotte said something about if they were still haunting this house, she would be playing hide and seek forever. So that just means we have to hide. What just happened? I think for once I will believe you. What are you talking about? I found Charlotte. Where is she? She's um gone. There was there was a creature, and I I don't know how it what. It's okay. The same thing happened to you. Rosie's gone. Rosie. No. What happened? <sighs> this is gonna sound crazy, but. We think this house might actually still be haunted. The little sister who was murdered. Well, she was still playing hide and seek. And she found Rosie. Oh no. What about Charlotte? What happened? It was... I don't know. It was in the woods, in the mist. It was foggy and... And it was just... It looked like it was glowing. Like a ginormous anglerfish, but in the shape of a mermaid or a dash hound. Wait, a mermaid or dash hound? Yes, I think so. I'm not sure. The older sister? Was she a dash hound? I don't know. Maybe. The older sister was drowned in the well. What if her spirit looks like a mermaid but a scary one I mean we saw the little sister so then the older sister has got to be out there too right then whatever I saw must be the older sister do did are they really listen Rosie and Charlotte will be fine I bet if we can solve this they'll they'll be brought back or something no you're right maybe Maybe we can fix this, but how? I don't... Wait, the little sister was waiting for her older sister. What if they're looking for each other? She's waiting for her older sister to return. Do you hear that? What? I think we have a visitor. Someone just entered the house. What if we bring them together? The little sister is waiting for her older sister to return. And the older sister just did. The older sister is somewhere in this house and they just have to see each other. Maybe Charlotte and Rosie will be saved. Well, let's go hunt some ghosts. Oh yeah. I'll stay here and wait for one of them to show up.
found you. Perfect. It glows too. Okay, okay, just just follow me. Charlotte, they're all safe. 